Alrighty guys, so after having uh, about two months of thinking about this idea, I finally was able to have uh, the success in it. So, today, uh, this video is going to be around 30 minutes long, and uh, today we're going to be doing a 24 hour bot support challenge. Um, I've it's been about two months really since I've been starting to think of this and I am really prepared to do it. Um, if there is any uh, like background crazy wind noises, not really my fault. It's very windy. Also, I might be complaining a lot in this video because uh, it's going to be very hot. It's been in the 90 degrees for the past two or three weeks. So, yeah. Um, we can go ahead and hop straight into this. So since I called it a box fort challenge, I'm gonna be staying in the box fort. So uh, we'll be going out and checking the box fort in a few minutes or seconds, really. I just wanted to talk about, talk to you guys about this challenge. Um, it's actually gonna, it's uh, what's the time? It's 1:20 right now. So. The, um, hold on, I'm not pointing the camera at me, hold on. Um, so the challenge is supposed to be 24 hours. It's going to end up being, um, until about 8 in the morning tomorrow, because I'm going to be bu busy at some times in the morning tomorrow. So really the challenge is going to be 15, 16 hours, I think. I am not sure, but it's... Uh, ever since yesterday, I've been, uh, ever since yesterday, I've been, uh, testing this camera to see if it works, but, yeah, we are ready, but, uh, there's one more thing about the challenge. The challenge idea is to stay off of, there's gonna be no devices, like, no electricity involved. The only electricity is this camera I have and uh some flashlights and that's actually all we got for electricity so yep there's gonna be no uh no computers samsung's or no no phones anything nope all it is is gonna be a camera flashlights and that's all two flashlights one of them's actually a light bulb thing so yeah let's go and hop in this see you guys uh at the box so this right here is the box fort that we are going to be staying in, or I will be staying in, for the next uh, few hours. Well, a lot of hours, actually. So, um, it's not really uh, big, but it's kind of long. Uh, it's impossible to, like, sit down in it, but you could just lay down in it. Also, uh, right here are the flashlights I was talking about. There is uh, this... A super bright one or get ready yeah it's pretty bright at night time um, you get that from those and then this is just a normal flashlight I don't know how good the batteries are on it then when you crawl in and <coughs> oh, excuse me we got some hand sanitizer right here that I got from what is it called bath and body works okay let me turn the light in here so you can see going all the way down. Okay. So uh, setting up this box for it did not take long at all. It um, only took uh, a few minutes, but at the same time, there's no duct tape involved. Uh, there's no tape needed. All we did is slide three large boxes together from Lowe's. And then, yeah, we were done. Um, uh, uh, it's been a 90 degrees for the past two or three weeks, as I said a few minutes ago. And also, tonight at like 8 o'clock, it's going to be in the 80s. And at the same time, there's no fans. So, uh, when we bought the boxes, it came with these little holes that you could kind of pop out like this. And uh, those were very useful for me. So I uh, won't hypervent or something. No, not hypervent. Uh, get heat stroke or something. 
Also in the back, we got this little way to be in the hole. Um, so yeah, it's going to turn out the light. Okay. Also, I got a Fitbit, but I'm not going to be using that uh, at all. The only reason I have it on is so I can count my steps. But the, this challenge, I'm not going to know the time at all. Uh, no, not, not even once. I'm going to know the time. So when it gets like... Uh, 120 tomorrow is going to be when we end the challenge. Um, I might have to end it early because we're going to. I'm going to be busy tomorrow in the morning. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, there's nothing entertaining to do. I'm kind of staying in the garage right now looking for stuff to do. And I guess we could play with a racket or something. Maybe we could bounce some balls a little bit. <laughs> Give me I got one hand. I got only one hand. Alright, here we go. Got a kickball. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Actually, you know what? There's a bike right there. Alright, guys. So, the whole um, idea of uh, the bike was a total bust. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say the camera fell off when I was kind of testing the bike to see if the camera's going to jiggle around. So, uh, the bike is kind of scratched off of the entertainment idea because now there's just nothing to do. So, um, hopefully uh, I could find something out to do because I'm just bored right now. The challenge has been boring so far. Uh, I have not gone over the food items that I've brought, but I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to talk about it. So I brought Fruit Loops uh, for breakfast tomorrow. Uh, I've already had lunch, as I said, like 1.30 or something. I can't check the time. I forgot. It's probably around 1.35-ish. And... Um, so I brought Fruit Loops, uh, bread for some reason, marshmallows, and a pack of Doritos. That's all I brought. Also, I have one bottle of water, so, um, maybe I could get somebody to bring some water out for me. Because I can't go inside at all, like, inside my house, because going inside is going to be using air conditioning. I thought I heard something. Okay. So, I can't go inside at all. Uh, I haven't even gotten a tour of my backyard yet. So, I guess I could go ahead and do that. So, uh, right now, I'm actually standing in my backyard. So, this is it. Uh, in the area of the fences is my backyard. There's a swing set right there. There's a trailer back there with another trailer behind it. Uh, there's a trampoline over there. This is the garage. We were just in there. Here's a pit nose cable we never used. Um, so yeah guys, uh, the, I like my backyard because of half of it is a forest and the other half is just a field. Over here is the field part. So yeah, whenever it's springtime, this area where I'm at right now, it's always shaded. Which is very nice indeed. Alright, so now we're in the field area, which has no trees. There's some um, trees growing over there at the fence. So, yeah. Um, over here is a fire pit, which the original idea was to cook some marshmallows that I told you I had, but... Uh, we are in the red area, which means we're nobody in this area where I live is allowed to uh, have a fire or anything like that. Because having a fire is uh, not good because uh, we're kind of in like the dry part. It has not rained in the past two weeks and it's getting uh, very dry out here. The grass is starting to die starting to turn a little bit brown light brown and so yeah just that it's very hot as i said past two three weeks so uh actually tomorrow morning 
we have a chance of thunderstorms. So hopefully that chance will actually work. Because we really need some rain out here. So yeah guys, there will be no fire whatsoever. Which I'm kind of disappointed of. So that's the backyard. This over here, that's just my neighbor's backyard. Let's head back to the trailer. Because last night I was actually in it and we never actually closed it and locked it. So it's unlocked right now. Don't need the key. So here's the trailer. Uh, there's a race car in it. My dad is a racer and that's where he keeps his race car at. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. There's no light in there though. And here's the other trailer which is... Something my dad got, uh, I forgot. It was a few months ago. It's not even a year old. But it's just like a hooker thing where you can uh, tow cars to a place. That's not anybody's job in this family. It's just my dad got it for free when he uh, worked on somebody's car because he's a mechanic and he fixed their car. They had no way to pay him, so they just paid him in a trailer, which is usual. So, now I guess we can go into the trailer bit right here. So, yeah, it's not locked. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Yep. Alright, it's kind of creepy in here whenever I'm alone. So, I'm glad there's like maybe up to a thousand people in here. So, it's very humid. No, not humid. It's just very hot. So, we're going to probably leave this a little bit cracked open so it's some air can circulate all right guys boo ta-da that's just a fray suit um so that right there i think is a battery but uh this is the whole race car thing he's not a nascar dude he just he races for fun there's no money involved there's racing fuel and that is all actually for his car that I have no idea of what it is. So we close this back. Let's just go ahead and put this first lock thing on it. Yep. Maybe. No, no, it's fine. It's closed and it's not locked. But yeah, that was that tour of that part. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a uh, moment when I find something to do. Actually, you know what? Let's go work on a well no we'll do that later uh let's go to trampoline actually <laughs> walking over to the trampo here it is the trampo lane there's a lot of stuff growing under it and all the grass under it is either dead Yep, all the grass on there is dead because it gets no sunlight. So that's a trampoline. It's small. I know. So yeah, let's go ahead and just bounce on it without taking off my shoes because I am very weak. Actually, you know what? Uh, maybe later we could go check out the forest across the street right there. I guess we could go check that out. Very soon. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so the next part of the video is to show you my dog. So, uh, his name is Ducky. Uh, the only reason why his name is Ducky is because the Humane Society already had him that name. Also, they named him Ducky because when we first got him, uh, he had uh, this sneezing thing where he kind of like sneezed kind of often. So we had to kind of give him medicine for that. Now, uh, that does not happen, but, uh, whenever he would sneeze, he would sound like a duck. He'll go, <laughs> kind of like a duck. He'll sniff up like a duck. So, I guess that's why they called him Ducky. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you him right now. He's right in front of me. See? Look. Look. Are you the most cutest thing? Oh, yes, you are, Ducky. Oh, yes, you are, Ducky. Stay right here. Look, look at the camera. Look, look at the camera. Look, look. See, that's a camera. 
You want to lick it, don't you? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So, um, when we got him at the Humane Society, there was a long line for him because they said he was already potty trained. They said he was already potty trained. So when we got him, he didn't really seem potty trained, even though they said he was. So still, he is potty trained now, but I think the Humane Society just wanted to get rid of him because he's probably being a bad boy. So they just said that he uh, was potty trained. But he was not potty trained at all. So yeah, that's the only reason people wanted him. Not because he was so cute. Because he was potty trained, apparently. So yeah. See, look. See, it's a camera. No, that's a tripod. No, now you're going to sit. No. So yeah, he's going to be probably in the view for uh, most of the video and stuff. So we could go ahead and let him inside so we stop bothering him so yeah let's go ahead i'm gonna put this tripod thing down so i could go ahead and let him inside all right so the next thing uh you probably notice i'm carrying a stick uh, this stick is special because it's a spear. It's a spear that I made, uh, last week. Exactly last week, actually. So, yeah, this, I had, I was actually camping with my Boy Scout troop, and this is the only time I ever had to make a spear. So, I just, uh, I sharpened it with a rock, and then I burnt, I, I kind of burnt it in the fire. So, uh, it would be stronger. So, now we got this, uh, not really pointy, but, uh, kind of a pointy stick with no bark on it. I peeled the bark off. Or at least most of the bark is peeled off. So, yeah, that's, that part of show and tell. Alright, um, now there's kind of, like, nothing to do. Um, I was going to entertain you guys by showing my BB gun. And shooting it around but we have no pellets inside of the BB gun at the moment so really I can not really have anything to actually do so I guess we could just sit here for a while or something I don't know hold on I'm adjusting the tripod See you in a second, Mike. Alrighty, guys. So while I was off camera, I actually came up with this new invention. I call it the Dorito hole. So uh, all I did was take a packet of Doritos and stuff it through one of those air holes that was in the box. For so now, whenever you are hungry in the box for it, while you're chilling in here, you could just reach in to the Dorito bag. And then you can take out a Dorito, eat it, and chew out in the box for it. So, that is some info that I came up with um, a few minutes ago. Um, so, I've been off camera for about 30 minutes by now. Um, I rode my bike. I jumped on a trampoline. I, I tried to get a tan. And I've been sitting here and drinking some water. And... Yeah, that's kind of all, but before we go further into, I want to tell you guys some information about further on into the gaming channel. So, um, like, today is the official first day of summer break where I live. So, yeah, um, I'm out of school for the next, uh, many weeks, um, for summer break. So, that is very good, um. During that time, I'm going to be introducing a new game on the channel. I know, I know Broke Protocol is also kind of new. There's only been four episodes on that. But there's also another game off of Steam that costs more money. Uh, that was $20. It's called American Truck Simulator. 
So American Truck Simulator is where you have your own uh, truck business and you drive around and just do a normal redneck truck people life stuff. So um, that's a new game coming on the channel. i uh, just going to tell you guys about that. A new game is going to be introduced in about three days? Two days? Two days. Two days or three days is when uh, the first video will be uploaded. Um, which is good news. I keep hearing something behind me. Don't know what it is, but, um, yeah, that would be happening. I don't know how, uh, fur, I don't know how far in the challenge I am right now. I think I am around an hour, 30 minutes in? I don't know. I, I'm not allowed to check my watch. So, there's my dog. He's coming up. No, no, no. That's my invention. You cannot eat my Doritos. Don't. Don't. Don't even think of it. Look at the camera. Look, right here. Whoa, okay. He's thinking about grabbing my Doritos. Alright guys, so here's the outside of the invention. It's just the Dorito pack. No, he's going inside. No. No Doritos for you, okay? So yeah, that's just some information about the uh, new uh, game coming onto the channel. So, um, I was kind of bored. But as I was saying, I'm around an hour and 30 minutes into the challenge. What are you getting that look for? Look at him. Hey, look up here. Look, Dorito. Wow. Look, Dorito, Ducky. Alright. So, yeah, that's some information on that. No. No. There's nothing to really do. But drink water or try to get a tan on the trampoline, which I've already tried. So, I'm not going to be riding my bike with the GoPro attached, because I've tried that before and it just did not work. It was a bus. I gotta go turn out the light that's inside of the box for in a few minutes. Anyway, that's some information on that. I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. So, it's been the time that we've been waiting for. We are now heading down to the creek. A.K.A. the forest. So, it's been a few months ever since I've gone down here. So, the trees have really grown. And some of them might have fell. But, if you're looking out into the distance, which you probably can't see it. But, there is some water out there. Um... <clears throat> I'm trying my best to walk through all these thorns. Ow! Ah, my leg. Alright. Walking through. Okay, there's a lot of spider webs everywhere, so don't. It's, if there's spider webs on the camera, then oh well. <laughs> Alright, here we are. So, nobody owns this part of my neighborhood, so it's kind of public. You know, a lot of people uh, ride ATVs, motorcycles, and golf carts down here. Because, as you can see, there's a little bit of tracks on uh, here at the ground. So, I'm going to hold the camera kind of tight so I don't drop it. But, here is the creek. And, um, it's... It's not overflowed because uh, it's been dry for the past uh, many weeks. So, yeah, as you can see, there's little, like, a drop or a bump in the water right over there. I don't know if you, I don't know if I'm pointing at it on the camera, but, yeah, and then there's one right here. And there's a few back there, but I don't know how they are made exactly. But, yeah, this is our time down at the creek. I'm trying to try to enjoy this because I'm probably never going to do this on camera again. So 
there is the part I was talking about. It's kind of loud. Um, yep, that that's that right there. Can't see it. It's right there. Yeah. Hopefully, I caught this on camera. There's a spider web on the tripod. Eh, now it's gone. All right. Now we're heading to my neighbor's property, uh, which of course I don't own, but I'm allowed to go down it because they're my neighbors and we know them quite well. So now we're heading down there and it's kind of calm over here. This is where they go swimming. So let's not throw sticks down there because they won't be happy about that. Um, all right, so here we are kind of the open field and then right here is the water again so this is our time down at the creek Whew. very nice down here very nice and peaceful uh, there's never raccoons bears and I never seen a snake down here now since I said it was snake I think I should be getting back um, yeah. smells like a beach as well which is also pretty cool because I like the beach. So, um, let's get heading back. I'll show you guys a trail which has never been cut. So, yeah, the trail back. There's actually many ways to get back. Uh, there's a long way which you keep going forward, but we're just gonna go uh, the short way and turn the right here. Yeah. Okay, here's the pathway back up. <clears throat> the long way is where we actually go sledding because it's a steep hill to go the long way. Uh, whenever it's winter, we'll go uh, sledding there, which is very nice. All right, let's start running. <sighs> Okay, tree right there, or a duck. Okay, make sure no one's behind us. All right, there's nothing. Whew. So, so far with this challenge, I've been very hot. I feel like it's 100 degrees out here, but it's only about 80, the, whew, the upper 80s right now. So, whew, that explains how hot I am. How tired I am from walking up here. All right, let's head back home real quick. Head back to the porch where we can whew, do our stuff, I guess. Yep, all right, I'll see you guys. All righty guys, so I just got finished eating dinner. Um, I know I finished recording when I went down to the creek but that was about two hours ago. So we're talking about now. I just got finished eating dinner, which was Moe's. And boy, I'm so stuffed. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and feed you up on that information. So really what I've been doing for a while is just sitting around, um, chilling, trying to take a nap or something. And I've been shooting some hoops with the basketball. So that's all I've really been doing. Um, the next time I will be uh, turning this camera back on is when it's almost time to go to bed or some information that you guys need to know. But uh, for now, we are pretty good. Good on food, actually. Oh boy, that tastes so good. All right, so I'll see you guys. Um, kind of later so um i'm sure you guys most of you over half of you have probably heard of the game four square well that's what uh, my family plays a lot we play four square so in a few minutes we're gonna be playing some four square if you don't know what four square is you should really look it up because it's a kind of a good family game a, a good family game if you ever want to spend time with your family you should teach them four square all you need is some chalk and uh, like draw four equal squares on your driveway and then you'll be then you'll need uh, some ball that isn't hard like no basketball but like a kickball like uh, the uh, was it what was it 
it was the uh, rainbow ball I showed you guys uh, earlier. So, yeah, and then you should look up how to play. Then you'll be good to go. So, here, right here, guys, you probably can't see it, but it's four squares. Um, we put duct tape on the ground because we are sick and tired of every time it rains. Uh, the chalk will get washed out. So, we put duct tape last year, and the duct tape started to peel off, but it left a mark on the uh, driveway. And, um, yeah. Then it just, it's, I guess that's permanent. So, yeah, uh, that's that, guys, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. So, um, I was kind of getting a little bit bored, so I decided to start recording again. So, we're back on the porch, and it's probably around 7.30. I don't know the time, but I think it's around 7.30. And soon the fireflies are going to start coming out, and I'm going to be catching those, which will be entertaining for once. We got something entertaining. So, yeah, that will be happening in about an hour or so. But, of course, I don't know the time. It could be 8 o'clock. It could be 9 o'clock. It's most likely not 9 o'clock at all. But, uh, i just been sitting here on the couch chilling drinking some water, all that normal stuff, and kind of settling down a little bit. I feel like riding my bike a little, a little bit more, but at the same time, I don't think I should, but at the same time, I do, so, yeah, that would be happening, yep. So, yeah, that's some information, see you guys later, bye-bye. Um, so, guys, it's, uh, bedtime right now. I just got finished reading a book, but, um, right now it's time for a lights out. Um, it's been very fun today, and we got a whole day tomorrow. And, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun, so, um, we're gonna be hitting the hay in a few minutes, um, just gonna tell you guys it's I'm going to bed um but yeah I will see you guys in the um morning I guess bye bye so guys I've I just woke up I changed uh clothes cause it's all hot and sweaty um and I'm ready to eat some breakfast so I'm gonna go uh grab my uh breakfast food and uh start chowing down and yeah so uh a little bit of what happened last night uh it started to rain a little bit so i was kind of happy about that because we needed rain as i said before and yeah now our uh, plants are going to grow because it rained uh, it started to rain pretty hard, though, so that's also pretty good. I don't know what the time was, but <sighs> it was pretty good. So, now, um, since I'm awake, I have to, I'm going to still be outside until 1.20 uh, this afternoon. Because that's when I started this challenge of yesterday, so... I'm gonna be here for, uh, the next, I don't know, like, five hours or something. And then the challenge will be ours. So I'm gonna go grab some breakfast, eat it, see you guys later. Goodbye. Alright, you guys, so there is now officially one hour left of the challenge. I just, uh, checked the time. Not to be breaking the rules, but I do need to know when time, what time to stop the challenge. So now there is officially one hour exactly left because it is 12.20. So it is now one more hour. And yep, yeah, I've just been really chilling here. I've been reading my book. And yeah, just sitting here doing nothing really. Yeah, I was kind of bored. 
So last night, um, it rained, which I've already talked about, but, uh, I also brought a thick blanket out, because it's actually pretty cold outside during the time. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in a few moments. Goodbye. Also, today is the three-year anniversary of Ducky, uh, being at, uh, our house ever since we got him. So, yeah. There he is. Nope, he's gone now. Okay. Yep. See you guys later. So, I was kind of getting sidetracked of the time, but, um, it is now been officially 24 hours outside. Whoops. Outside, and, um, nothing has changed about me. Maybe I, I really want to just run inside right now and edit all this. But, yeah, uh, that's the end of that, guys. Hopefully, this video has been long enough. But, by now, it is 1.20 p.m. And it's been quite a while. So, I'm kind of happy that uh, the challenge is over. Because I do not want to do this again. Um, but, I guess at some point, I will do it again. Maybe with a different type of challenge. But anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And if you're new on the channel, make sure to click that notification bell so you get notified on any video that I make. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.